All right, we're going to totally try this again. I tried this a, about an hour and a half ago, and I had some technical difficulties. So let's see if we can get anybody on the feed this time. Uh, I think we're doing all right so far. So uh, let's just get this out for the uh, playback. If this is your first time on my channel, I'm glad you're here, and I'm glad you're on the live feeds. And if you would like to see more videos like this and more live feeds like this, as well as more videos about gear reviews and general outdoor stuff, you can begin by subscribing and clicking the bell icon below so that you don't miss anything. Now, man, I had some serious uh, technical difficulties earlier. I was trying to live feed from my phone at the same time as I was doing my laptop and it just I just couldn't get it synced so I said to hell with it and I went out in the back and I took my little wood gasser that I made some modifications to and I was just testing it out uh, using charcoal in it this time and it was working really really good and I think I'm gonna make a video about my little mods what it is I put some little feet on it to get it off the ground get more airflow from under it and you know I, I think it'll be really good now so and here's a, I'm screwing around with the top to it you know and I got the nice little top with the nice little holes drilled in it I think you can see the holes that's to let the steam out and stuff you know but but hey incidentally if you're cooking and the, the top of the wood gasser fits the glacier cup <laughs> so now you get a lid for your glacier cup fits perfect I got an old video on that uh, and it, it works really, really well. So now I tried baking in my Moore's bush pot using my GSI glacier cup, uh, and, and it also worked really, really well. So uh, I see there's still nobody on the feed, but hey, this is for the playback. So I didn't get a uh, canteen cup cocktail done yesterday because uh, I was busy. I had to work. And it was about 85 degrees, so I didn't think it was time for a nice warm cocktail. Uh, but uh, I'll see if I can get one in next week. You know, I, I will wait till the Christmas stupidity is over with and everything else. So we're going to stretch this about five minutes. If nobody comes on, then we'll just have a live feed uh, playback. And, you know, that, that'll, that'll be my video for the day. I'm kind of striking out on videos. Uh, I, I've been trying to do them. And... Uh, you know, I, I did the baking video in my canteen cup, and what I did is I took a little, I, I formed a little little baking chamber that'll go right into there, and I think this is going to be cool for some blueberry muffins or some cornbread, and what everybody didn't notice is inside at 533 of that baking video, inside my canteen cup, you can see it if I could get it right, there's a piece of hardware cloth. And all I did was take a little piece of, of half inch hardware cloth and I cut it 10 squares long by three squares wide. And here's what you got. And all I did is I bent over the last two squares, okay, on each side, and I make a little platform. And that little platform fits right inside my canteen cup and gives me a perfect a perfect one inch high platform so I took another another uh, uh, foil like a little baking dish that I had and I formed it around the outside and I kept working with it and now we got a perfect little bacon vessel I think that's gonna be really really good on some blueberry muffins and some cornbread now we got something that looks like that and it's one inch high off of the bottom so I don't have to use rocks and or pebbles or anything like that so there we go. That, that's my ideas on bacon and the canteen cup. Uh, I think I'm going to go out and take a nice hike tomorrow and uh, do part two of Mastering the Swamp. And um, I'll probably be out for most of the day. Uh, and, that, and that one's going to be about resources in the swamp, what you can find in the swamp and what you can do in the swamp because there's, there's just uh, unlimited resources in the swamp that you can use. So... Uh, also did a little video on my little SOS kit. Now I have, I have added to this and subtracted from it. Now it's a really, really good EDC kit that I'm going to carry uh, in a little EDC pouch on my side. And it's going to carry my uh, everyday carry handgun in it too. And you're never going to see everything's going to be totally, totally uh, concealed. So 
that's a couple of the things I'm working on. I'm sorry my live feed didn't work out today, uh, but this is a live feed and, it, and it'll be coming through the playback. And uh, I, I hope everybody catches up and watches this one. Uh, remember, I, I am super chat enabled and everything else. If everybody wants to, if anybody wants to contribute to my delinquency, they can do so. Uh, and I would, I would greatly appreciate it. And don't forget, at the bottom of this video, there's going to be all of my links uh, to everything that I use. There's going to be a link to my Facebook page, my Facebook group. You can join the Facebook group. It's called Florida Boy Bushcraft and Survival. Uh, I got over 100 members in the Facebook group now. Everybody's welcome to join that. Uh, my affiliate marketing links and my affiliate marketing group, everybody's willing, uh, welcome to join that too. And uh, I don't think that I can put end cards or anything, but, you know, if I can, on the left you may see some suggested videos, <laughs> and on the right you may see my suggestion box. And until next time, uh, until next time, this is Matt. From Florida Boy Bushcraft and Survival saying I will see you on the trail.